Howdy. Sup, party people? As you can tell by the title of this video, we're giving you a tour of Rue today, which is my 2007 Subaru Outback. If you're new here, my name is Maria. This is Blue, my trusty, dusty sidekick. And we have been living in my Subaru for the past almost five years, since 2017. I think my last car tour video was like three years ago, and a lot has changed. And we really figured a lot out. Let's just, let's just get into it, shall we? Because I'm really excited. I'm real pumped today, so... Let's freaking do it, dude. Oh my gosh, I should open a Red Bull for this tour, so I have energy. Heck yeah, dude. All right, hold. My new current favorite flavor. I didn't even like Red Bulls until I found this flavor, so this is very exciting for me. Cheers. Car tour video. I'm the songbird of my generation. I'm so excited. <laughs> There's something about car tour videos that I just get real pumped about, so I'm excited. Okay. Hi, Bubby beautiful love you you are in the way of what i'm trying to get to though so i'm gonna need you to move thank you this is my equivalent to a kitchen junk drawer it always has just because when i'm driving it's right there so here's my uh glasses that i need for distance i keep them in here because i need them when i drive so obviously just right there um i have a bunch of crap in here a bunch of like like electronic things a bunch of pens I have two-year-old aspirin in here. Don't even know that that works anymore. A bunch of change. I have poop bags for blue. And then I have my military-grade pepper spray. So I can just... And it's right there by my door if I need it. So that's pretty much it for the kitchen junk drawer. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into Rue here. You guys are going to have to forgive me because I don't have a wide-angle lens. Like, good enough for this small space. So we're just going to have to work with what we've got here. Now we got my uh, phone holder, which is perfect for directions when I'm driving. Oh, look at me in blue. We're so cute. And then I have my GoPro up here, which I film with all the time. So this mount pretty much just lives right here. And then I'll just pop my GoPro in and out as need be. Bada bing, bada boom. Up here is my GoPro charger. For anybody out there that shoots with GoPro, you know batteries last about two breaths and they're dead. So there's three slots on here. I only have two GoPro batteries, but whatever. I, it literally lives up here because I use it at least like four times a day. I'm constantly charging my GoPro stuff. That right there is the microphone to my camera that just broke. That doesn't live there. I just have it set there because honestly, I've currently no idea what to do with it because it's half broken, half not. So I love that I'm shooting this video without an external mic. Hopefully audio isn't total crap, you know what I mean? But anyways, I just set that there right now because I just recently broke it. Come down to the shifter, I keep extra hair ties here. Always have, just kind of my thing, mate. This little thing right here holds my headphones and a bunch of old receipts and extra hair ties too. Honestly, I should probably clean this out and like utilize this space more. I think I literally have receipts in here from like 2017. Let's see. This is from Augusta, Maine, August 3rd, 2017. Looks like I was getting gas for $2.35 a gallon. Yeesh. Wish that was true today. Anyways, I'll clean that out eventually, but that's, that's just, that's just how that is up there, okay? Pretty much just anytime I walk blue or go to the gym, it's just my little headphone cubby, so. Down here in my cup holders, I literally just keep my water and my coffee that I usually make every morning, along with some uh, chapstick. Nothing too complicated there. It's super dirty, and I did not clean for you guys before I started this video, which is very much how I am. So you're getting the real deal nasty car, because sometimes it's hard to keep dog hair out of here, you know? I've got like dirt on my dash whatever anyways this is my view pretty much all the time blue do you want to you want to tell them about your side or what no okay okay so coming into blue side of the car it's very simple i always have a trash going always there's one piece of advice i would give to you guys if you're trying to car camp or live out of your car is keep your stuff organized keep it clean so i always have a trash because I just always need to be able to put stuff somewhere. Don't want my car getting messy, so. And then anytime I stop at a gas station or a store, or I just obviously throw it away, and then I keep extra trash bags, which you'll see later. This is my savior. 
my ninja bat little portable generator whatever you want to call it this is how i charge all of my devices and then as you can see i've got the cord in it up here which i always plug in when i'm driving bada bang bada boom so this lives here never moves i have this link down below honestly i would really really recommend it you guys it's amazing i haven't tried any other brands or anything i know some people are super into brands on these things i don't know i got this one it had great reviews it works really well love it to death i will buy it over and over again it's great how many watts is this i think this is a 400 watt how many watts are you 300 watt yeah this is a 300 watt and it's dirty because blue puked on it last week so cool and then we have blue's leash down here and uh that's literally it for blue side so coming into behind my driver's seat first thing you're gonna see is my selection of hats <laughs> these kind of move around because i just have them on hooks so sometimes i hook them up here sometimes they're back here but i always have them because usually i'm always wearing a hat actually why am i not right now hold on so yeah that's pretty much why i have them always hanging because i'm always wearing a hat because my hair never really looks cute do you guys quickly want to see my other options? I know you don't care, but I do, so it's my video, so we're going to go through my hat options. I have another gray Adidas. I have a Kerhurt. I have a Shroot Farm Beats hat, because Dwight is the love of my life. And last but not least, I have a Roaming Reckless hat, which you can get at roamingreckless.com. Okay, cool. Moving on. Also, I have a little lantern that's on that same hook as the hats because I film myself sleeping sometimes. <laughs> that sounds creepy. I, <laughs> I film myself while I'm in bed and so I have that light opposite to my bed so there's light on me to film. You get, you get it. So we've got the hats. That's the light that I'm talking about. It lives up there so that way I can like put the GoPro on this window right here and then when I'm laying over there, you can see me. Okay, so behind the driver's seat, I've got extra trash bags in here, usually just a couple, so I can start new trashes. And then obviously as I shop, I just add them back here. I have my deodorant back here for some reason. I don't know why. Let me live my life, okay? What else do I have back here? I have Blue's brush. He gets brushed weekly. I've got extra batteries. I've got my engine code reader. Knock on wood that we don't have to use that. Knock on something because Rue's actually been not breaking down recently, which is great for us. Oh, I have a... um. I have an extra lens case, like bag, because if I'm ever hiking and I need to take a couple lenses with me for Instagram pictures or just a better vlog angle or what have you, I keep this bag here so I can just hook it onto a belt loop and have multiple lenses with me and go. And then last thing we have is a you know what, which we will not show Blue right now because he will freak out if he sees that. So we won't show him that, but that is back there for him. Moving down here, I have Blue's food. I used to keep like a big bin with like 40 pounds of food or whatever the max was. Um, so he could have more at a time, but it just, it took up way too much space. And honestly, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's just, it's easier for me to keep less food that lasts him about two weeks. I just picked up new bones for him. So we've got those down here. This bag situation is like the only unorganized section of the car and I'll I'll show you what I mean. Pretty much I've got two bags here, okay? And it's a bag inside of a bag. This is what I mean by it's not organized because honestly, I don't even know half the crap that's in here. Face wipes, vitamin D supplements. I've got Blue's GoPro attachment that he wears when he like runs around. I got a bag of pistachios. I didn't even know I had those in here. So that's the bottom bag, okay? The top bag, I have. This bag is like my toothbrush, face moisturizers, serums, stuff like that. Like makeup bag that also has like my hair stuff in it. Like just girl stuff that you need. And then this bag has like face wash, a random monster, a backup light, and about 30 cords to stuff that I don't even know. So I, essentially all I'm saying is that I really need to go through and organize this because I don't know, even know what's in here. It's just kind of like a hodgepodge slash electronics charger bag. Like I have my old drone charger in here and my old drone is in Michigan. So like, I really should ship that back. If you can see in the middle right there, that's my gym bag. So that has towels, shampoo and conditioner, um, an extra set of clothes in my gym shoes for lifting. Okay, so opening up this door, obviously, 
This is the side that I sleep on, so my sleeping platform is right here. This is my little electronics nook. So I've got this huge lens case, hard lens case that has all of my electronics in it. That little gray thing right there is my drone. Little red thing back there is a backup power inverter should anything happen to my little power station. This is obviously a you-know-what for blue. No, Bubby, it's not time to play right now, I know. I just keep my couple sweatshirts right there in case it gets cold. We're like moving into warmer weather now, so. Probably won't need those for very much longer, but anyways. If you guys would like to see more of like my gear and my equipment, what kind of lenses I use, camera, drone, computer. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like a camera gear type video. I can go through all of my electronics that way and stuff like that, but that's just like too much to put into this video. It would take too long, so. If you want a gear video, leave a comment. We can film that separately. Okay, moving on. Getting into the good stuff. Obviously, this is my sleeping platform, which extends all the way back up to the back of the passenger side. And then this little nook in here is where Blue sleeps. So Blue has all of this. Blue has like a ton of area. Sometimes we'll put stuff over here, so he just like, he sprawls all the way out. You can also see under my platform is where all of my clothes are. I'll show you more of that in a minute, but just for a visual that you guys can see, my clothes live underneath where I sleep. All right, this is kind of where all the magic happens. This is where I cook out of. This is kind of where everything goes down, right? Like, I literally really live out of the back of my Subaru. So, um, if you guys have seen cooking videos before, I mean, obviously, if you're new here, you don't know. But if you've been here for a while, you know that when I have cooking videos, this is what I do. I flip up my mattress, and then I cook on top of my platform. This was great short term. I'm still going to still cook in the same location, but I do need to figure out, like, I'm probably going to get some sort of rubber mat or vinyl or something to put on the actual wood because <laughs> I don't know if you can see but I've got like grease stains all over my sleeping platform because I just am really messy when I cook and then now it's starting to transfer onto my mattress so that is something that I do need to figure out and upgrade so that the wood doesn't rot and my mattress doesn't mold because that would be awkward. Also this mattress is technically a junior mattress or like a toddler mattress from Ikea. I'll try to link everything below in this video of all the specific things I have, specific cooler, stove, mattress, sleeping bed, like all the all the gear that I use, I'll try to link in the description below in case anybody is curious or wants to see. But yeah, so whenever I cook, like I said, I do it right here. So this, this flips up and becomes my kitchen essentially. And then this little light lives here all the time so that I can cook in the dark, which works out pretty well for me. There's a little nook down here on either side of the car. So I do shove things in there. So in this little nook, I have essentially my coffee station. So I keep my AeroPress, my Cremota coffee that I'm running out of, sadness. A lovely subscriber sent me this jet boil to my PO box, which I haven't used yet, but I plan on using for coffee because it's just meant to boil water really fast, which is all I need with the AeroPress. So this is gonna live over here in this section. This is my little coffee station because if you guys know me, or if you're new here and you don't know me, I am a super coffee snob who has to have it 24 times a day to be happy. And happy. <laughs> so it's very imperative that I keep my coffee near and dear in like a in a place that's easy to access. So I keep all of the coffee gear, like I said, in this little corner over here. All right, so going under the sleeping platform, this is my cooking toe. I have all of my food, pans, utensils, oils, cutting boards. You get the idea. Coffee creamer, everything lives in here. I have my clothing toe. It's on rollers, so it's nice. It rolls in and out really easily. Yeah, I don't need to explain this to you guys. This is all the clothes that I have. All my clean clothes. My dirty clothes are elsewhere, and I'll show you that next. Well, after we get done with this. So that shoves all the way to the back on rollers, like I said. And then my cooking toe goes underneath. Bada bing, bada boom, that's what's under my sleeping platform. It's super easy, really functional. This is by far the most functional setup that I've ever had in the five years of living out of my car, so I'm pretty excited about it. For this side, I have my camp stove 
Coleman one burner camp stove. It's like 25 bucks. The thing is a beast. Can cook literally anything. I'll have it linked below. Everybody should get one. 25 bucks. So cheap and amazing. And they like never die either. I would literally buy one like every month if I had to. I love them so much, but they last forever. So highly recommend. Obviously this is my cooler right here. This is an Ozark trail cooler. I get it at Walmart. It's like a hundred bucks, I want to say. Uh, best cooler ever. You don't need an Arctic. You don't need a Yeti. You don't need a Orca. You don't need all these expensive coolers. This is like 98 bucks. It's amazing. Incredible. I would link it below, but I, I literally can't find it anywhere but at physical Walmart stores. So you're going to have to go look for one if you want one, but they're amazing. Like I said, back here, this has a little cubby just like the other side does. So back here, I keep butane for the burner, plastic silverware, trash bags, rice cakes. <laughs> this honestly should go in my cooking tote, but I don't really have room at the moment. And then uh, paper bowls. So this is just kind of like my dinnerware stuff, I guess. Also just PSA for anybody that's using butane or keeping it in your car, just be aware that there's carbon monoxide leaks. I usually either leave the butane like outside of the car at night or like I'll throw it up on the roof rack sometimes if I'm not gonna be cooking for a while, but I try not to leave it in the car just because that stuff scares me, so. Something to be aware of. All right, and then in between my sleeping platform and the cooler, there is room. Usually I have water jugs here, but we're camping at the site for about three days. So I've taken the water jugs out and they're on the ground, but I do keep water in between here. And then right now I have a hammock that I just got sent from a subscriber as well. Um, which I haven't used yet, but I'm really excited to. So I just pulled that out and left it down there because I plan on using the hammock in the next couple days, but that doesn't live here. I'm just telling you it's here, but it doesn't live here. The only other thing that I leave in between my cooler and my sleeping platform that is going to stay here permanently is my little um, camping chair. So that just slides right in there along with a water jug and that's pretty much the permanent setup. I think that's it for the car, you guys. I guess it's time to get to the roof rack then. Right, before I get into the actual totes, I do leave my two to three person pop-up tent just chilling on my roof rack. So that lives on a diagonal and it's tied down by bungee cords. And uh, that's not really imperative right now, but during the summer months, that is huge. Blue and I can really only sleep inside Rue at a max temperature of like 65 degrees, sometimes 70 in the summer, like at night I mean. So that tent is perfect because when it gets hot out, we can't sleep in the car, so we have to pull the tent out like every night. So right now we're kind of just like toting it around the country, but eventually it will become like an everyday use type thing. So. All right, let's get into the tote, shall we? Move it or lose it, kid. All right, first thing inside this tote is my winter jacket because I don't need it anymore. It's almost summer, so it just lives up in the roof rack for when I need it. What else is in here? Oh, I've got extra for you know who. I have four dog boots for the winter with Blue because more so because he gets like ice in between his paw pads and it really bothers him. So back in the winter when we were doing a lot of exploring outside, I just put these on him so he can run free for hours without any ice buildup. I've got extra flea and tick spray. If you are one of my patrons on Patreon, you saw one of the behind the scenes videos where I saw a tick in the car and then immediately freaked out and rushed to a Petco the other day to buy this for blue. So uh, this lives up here. The other thing that lives up here is my survival slash go bag, which if the apocalypse ever hits and I'm on the road, I will be fine. My brother bought me this bag for my birthday one year and it's the Starbucks logo and it says guns and coffee, it's holding pistols. Survival blanket, we got paracord rope, we got like a whistle, I've got a lighter, we got like extra silverware and like a corkscrew. I've got a multivitamin. <laughs> I had a subscriber send me a dog trail medical kit, which was amazing. Thank you again, Raul. This is perfect, so I keep this in here for blue. Should anything happen. What else do I have in here? I have protein cookies. I have a water filtration system. I've got two days worth of food for blue. And I also label this by month. So the last time I updated this was in April. So last month. So pretty much whenever I buy blue new food, I'll feed this 
to him and then put new food in here just so it's kind of like always fresh. That makes sense if I remember. I'm not gonna act like I do that every single time. Sometimes your girl forgets, okay? But I do keep food in here for blue. Water filtration system. I've got water bottles in here. And then I also have a vegetable plant-based MRE from my brother, so. Anyways, that's just the lowdown. What else? There's more stuff. There's a few other survival things in here, but you get the gist. Okay, so my red toe is kind of like a hodgepodge of a lot of stuff, but I have hats in here. I really should like drop these off at a friend's house because I don't even really wear them. I don't know why I put my hats up there. I think I thought I was going to take cute Instagram pictures with them and never did, so. The big thing that I keep in the red tote is my dirty clothes. I have said this time and time again, you want to make sure that your car is organized and as much as possible can smell good. I live in my car with my dog, so I'm constantly battling it smelling good. Keeping dirty laundry inside of my car would only make that worse. So my philosophy is always keep your dirty laundry up and out of your car. I always put it in a tote in my roof rack. That's what I was talking about in one of my past vlogs. I keep a tire pressure, extra brake fluid. This is a socket wrench set thing in case something needs to happen with Rue. Keep a multi-tool. A tire jack. And then an 18 piece metric socket set. All right. Come on, sit up here. Hop up, hop up. Go. Oh, oh. That wasn't. <laughs> That wasn't what I meant, Bubby, but okay. <laughs> so if you have any organizational tips or anything else you think I could do better, also let me know because we are always trying to improve and get better. You know what I mean? And I'm always uh, down for more functionality within the space, so. Although I have done this for almost five years and I would say this is way better than where we started. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, you guys, well, the rain is coming in, so I'm gonna let you go, but, uh, Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Okay.